let's look at part 2 of the economics class 12 sample paper mcqs these were released by cbsc and uh, we had prepared one video on question number 1 to 10 earlier if you haven't had a chance to go through it maybe you can look out for the link in description if you are on youtube or you can go to our website www.arinjiacademy.com slash economics and you'll get everything relating to this subject that we have prepared now coming back to let's look at question number 11 industrial policy resolution also known as IPR 1956 formed the basis of which five-year plan was it the first five-year plan was it the fourth five-year plan was it the second five-year plan or was it the third five-year plan now the correct answer to this is C which is the second five-year plan and uh, one of the other things which can give you some indication as to why this is the answer we're talking about 1956 which is only nine years away from the year when India got independent so therefore ideally it cannot be a third or a fourth five-year plan of course it was not the first one also so this correct answer is second Now, question number 12 says, occupational structure refers to size of the labor force in a country. So, you have to find out what option defines occupational structure as the best. What do you mean by occupation? Occupation kya hota hai? Occupation is what you are doing to earn money. Correct? Now, in this particular case, when we talk about occupational structure, does it refer to the size of the labor force in a country? मतलब एक कंट्री में कितना लेबर फोर्स है क्या उसको हम ऑक्यूपेशनल स्ट्रक्चर कहते हैं द आंसर इज नो ये तो साइज ऑफ लेबर फोर्स है इट डजंट डिफाइन व्हाट इज द नेचर ऑफ वर्क दैट दे डू नंबर ऑफ पीपल लिविंग इन द कंट्री ये क्या होता है दिस इज बेसिकली पॉपुलेशन इट इज नॉट द ऑक्यूपेशन स्ट्रक्चर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वर्क फोर्स अमंग डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स ऑफ एन इकॉनमी नाउ दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर what do you mean by this particular answer? It says distribution of workforce. Matlab, agar suppose ek workforce mein 100 log hai ek country ke, ye kis sector mein, primary mein kitne hai, tertiary mein kitne hai, right? Wo basically define karta hai occupational structure. Nature of different occupations. Again, this is also not the right answer. Dash is the portion of agricultural produce which is sold in the market by the farmers after meeting their self-consumption requirement. So first let's understand the question. Question may ye kehte hain ki suppose ek farmer hai, he produces 100 kg of rice. Now he feels that out of 100 kg, 50 kg is what I need to feed my family. The balance remaining is 50 kg. What is this 50 kg called? Is it called the trade surplus? A farmer koi trading to karni rai. Therefore, trade surplus is not the right answer. Producer surplus. Again, this is not the right answer. Consumer surplus. Now, farmer is a businessman as well as a consumer. But the surplus that he is getting is not because he hasn't consumed it. Therefore, this is also wrong answer. The correct answer is marketable surplus. मतलब वो प्रोड्यूस का पार्ट जो वो मार्केट कर सकता है। Read the following statements carefully and choose the correct alternatives below. Poverty line in India is defined in terms of the monetary value of the minimal nutritional calorific requirements of an individual in a day. तो जो poverty line है, वो किस टर्म्स में डिफाइन्ड है? वो डिफाइन्ड है मॉनेटरी वैल्यू में। मतलब money ke terms mein of the minimum nutritional calorific requirements of an individual in a day ye statement correct hai poverty line is terms mein define hoti hai the definition of poverty line in monetary terms has not changed over the years now ye baat sahi nahi hai the reason is that with the increase in food prices the monetary value which is considered as a mark of what is poverty line has changed over the years therefore the statement is false so first is true second is false now if I look at the options option A says both the statements are true it cannot be the right one 
second says both statements are false again that is not the right one statement one is true and statement two is false this is the correct answer yeah let's move on to the next one. i hope you would have uh, learned from this particular video in case uh, you like these videos and want more of them you can just like this video you can subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also share with your other colleagues who might be interested in this in addition to this for more practice questions and videos relating to economics for class 12 you can go to our website courses.arinjaacademy.com in addition if you want more mcqs and notes you can go to this particular web page where everything that we have prepared relating to economics is available and uh, we keep on conducting live classes from time to time if you are interested you can whatsapp to us your name your class and your number on this particular whatsapp number and we will connect with you whenever we start the next batch that you can chip in question read the following statements carefully and choose the correct alternative below india is often called as the outsourcing hub of the world this is true why if you see a lot of legal, medical, service related work, technological related work of various companies in the world is outsourced to India. Statement 2. Availability of skilled manpower is one of the prime factors responsible for the status gained by India at the international platform. Again, this statement is also true. And the reason is that if you talk about Indians, they are really very good in terms of service sector, technological sector, etc. And therefore, they are considered good for the purpose of outsourcing work. Because the cost of delivery of work is low, therefore, even in this particular case, statement 2 is correct. So, option A says both the statements are true and therefore this is the right answer. We will not get into option B, C, D because we know that option A is the correct answer and that is the one that we have identified. Before the advent of Green Revolution in 1960s, India was primarily dependent on Dash for the supply of food grains. So which was the country which was supplying food grains to India before the Green Revolution of 1960? And the correct answer for that is United States of America. Britain cannot be the right answer because they had just leave, left India and uh, they were not interested in supplying food grain. On the contrary, they wanted India to remain as an agricultural economy till the time they were here. USSR and Mexico again are not the right answer. USA is the correct answer. Now, you need to see which of the following statements are correct. Which means that you see to see what is there in column 1 and whether what it is defined as in column 2 is the correct answer. Excess export of goods and services. What does that mean? Excess of exports of goods over import of goods. No, this is not the right answer. Trade surplus, an element of invisible item. No, that is also not the right answer. Current transfers to the rest of the world recorded as a positive item in the balance of payment account. It is not a positive item because this is a payment which you are making to the rest of the world. And the last one is portfolio investments are made by foreign institutional investor. Now this is the correct answer and therefore D is the correct answer in this case. Let's look at the next question. National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development was set up in 1982 as a dash body to coordinate the activities of all institutions involved in financing system. Was it formed as a cooperative body? The answer is no. As the apex body? That is the correct answer. Apex means that it is the head of all other agencies. Right? It was not a micro credit or a private credit body and therefore these are not the right answers. Question 19. The government of India has decided to vaccinate the adult population of India with Covaxin or Covishield without any charge. This would be categorized as a revenue nature income. Now, if you took a look at this, the government buys the medicine from the manufacturer and gives it to people free of cost. When you buy, you pay. Therefore, it is an expense for the government. So, any option which tells that this is an income, which is A, revenue nature income and B, capital nature income, cannot be the right answers. 
but the question is whether it is a capital expenditure or a revenue expenditure and the answer is it is a revenue expenditure because this expenditure does not result in creation of any asset let's look at question number 20 which happens to be the last question in this particular case and uh, if you want to study more about economics before we leave i would want you to have a look at our website arrangeacademy.com slash economics if you are looking at uh, live classes something which we are going to conduct very soon you can whatsapp us and we will come back to you as we start these classes until then you can keep learning from these multiple choice questions which we are doing dash is not a reason for poverty in india population explosion definitely it's one of the reasons for poverty why with increase in population the earnings go down and therefore the income is low rise in per capita gdp this is not a reason for poverty on the contrary when per capita gdp rises poverty decreases low capital formation again that is also a reason for poverty and socio economic exclusion that is also a reason for poverty i hope you would have uh, learned from this particular video in case uh, you like these videos and want more of them you can just like this video you can subscribe to our youtube channel and you can also share with your other colleagues who might be interested in this in addition to this for more practice questions and videos relating to economics for class 12 you can go to our website courses.arinjayacademy.com in addition if you want more mcqs and notes you can go to this particular web page where everything that we have prepared relating to economics is available and uh, we keep on conducting live classes from time to time if you are interested you can whatsapp to us your name your class and your number on this particular whatsapp number and we will connect with you whenever we start the next batch that you can chip in